five people symbolize the five men who are still detained under security certificates. They're blindfolded because there is no access to the evidence in these cases. They're gagged because of the criminalization of dissent, and they're blinded because we have not the capacity to insist that the government listen to us. Not yet. We have to keep working until that happens. We're here today to tell the government of Canada and the people of Canada that despite the Supreme Court uh, judgment that security certificates are unconstitutional and the subsequent attempts by the government to try to look like they did something about it, secret trials are continuing in Canada and this is an unacceptable situation. The hearing, which is going to start in early June, is still going to be rushed. It's still going to use secret evidence. And it's still going to rely mostly, from what we know, because so much of the evidence is still secret, it's still going to rely mostly on hearsay. And the purpose of security certificates is to deport people. Make no mistake, that's what it's for. These are not court hearings. These are immigration hearings. The government was given a year to correct the system, and unfortunately what they did was they adopted a system from the United Kingdom which had been roundly criticized, not just by organizations like Amnesty, but by the special advocates who were part of that system. One of the former special advocates in the UK, when he quit, when he said, I can't be this anymore, said that the special advocate system has a veneer of legality. And that, I think, is one of the worst aspects of it, which is that because it, has, it gives the impression that it is a fair system, it leads to complacency. And I think it is important for all of us here, for Amnesty, for the people of Canada, to remain vigilant. Il n'y a pas d'accusation, il y a des vagues allégations. Oh, peut-être qu'il est né à Al-Qaïda. Essayez d'autres prouver ça pour le fun. En même temps, ils ne sont, ils sont pas capables de respecter le processus qui exige que tu mettes une accusation précise avec des preuves. Et là, l'avocat peut contre-interroger, peut défendre, représenter la personne. Non, ce droit-là est complètement nié. Je suis bien contente, particulièrement contente, que Mo soit ici avec nous autres aujourd'hui pour pouvoir vous parler. Je pense que c'est un gain. Faut pas voir, même si ça fait cinq ans, six ans qu'on se bat, je pense qu'on a gagné des petites affaires. On a gagné son droit de parole. C'est écœurant quand même, dans un pays comme le Canada, faut s'attendre par cinq ans avant qu'il puisse avoir le droit de s'expliquer, de s'exprimer publiquement. Je pense que c'est un gain qu'on a fait. Ça a pris cinq ans, c'est pas pour rien. Mais il faut l'apprécier, puis il faut s'appuyer là-dessus pour aller plus loin. And I am shocked that my government has actually the very opposite position in terms of security certificates. It's appalling that, that you can charge people, you can you know, and, and you can treat them as criminals without a charge, without having them the right to see the information against them. If we don't stand up for more harm and horror cat, all of us could be next. So we need to say no to the security certificates, no to the secret trials, and tell Mr. Harper immediately, this is not in our name, stop this immediately, provide justice for Mohammed Harkat and all the other security detainees. Thank you.